Let's talk color grading. Do you love it or do you hate it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to grade your footage with just one click of a button. So we can go from this to this and save you a ton of time. So let's take a look. So we're gonna start by jumping over into dehancer.com. I've actually put a link in the description below, so feel free to use that to get you there nice and quick. I use Adobe Premiere, but this plugin is also supported in Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So pick your poison and download the free trial. At this stage, it will ask you to confirm your setup, so make sure you choose the right options here. I personally use Windows 11, and for this demo, I'm gonna be using Dehancer Lite, which I found to be enough for what I need. Dehancer Lite starts at $69 for a three month license and scales up to a lifetime license for just $199, which I think is an excellent value for money, as you're gonna see in a minute. The Pro version has more tools and it starts at $149 for three months or $449 for a lifetime license. Okay, so the plugin is installed and that's it, you're good to go. Now let's have a look, see what it does. For this demo, I've got a bunch of clips on the timeline and I've added an adjustment layer over the top. To apply Dehancer, simply do a quick search in the effects panel and drag it onto your adjustment layer. One thing to point out here is that when the effect is added, there are film profiles that are enabled. Now Dehancer is excellent for emulating film and it has lots of film LUTs and different film grain options, but I'm personally using it to color grade my footage. I always remove the film LUTs, so make sure you disable them in the effects panel like this. So with those disabled, now click the input and locate your camera. I use the Canon C70 and shoot in Canon C Log3 with Cinema Gamma. There are lots of different camera profiles available in Dehancer. This clip is actually my Canon R6 Mark II, again in C Log3. And this is my Mavic Pro in D Log. So now we've got our footage correctly color graded, we can have even more fun by adding more adjustment layers and applying different LUTs to them. So here's one with just the LUT applied. And now with both Dehancer and the LUT. Once we have Dehancer applied, we have a host of different options over in the effects panel. We can play around with the exposure, tweak the highlights and shadows, midtones, adjust the colors. It's pretty much endless, really. I just love it. And uh, if we want to apply the film grain or the film LUTs, we can. Of course, there are so many different options. It's super cool. As I mentioned earlier, I use the Canon C70 as my main camera. In fact, that's what I'm using to uh, record this video right now. And then if I'm recording an interview, I might use something like the Canon R6 here as a side profile view. I shoot both in Canon C Log3, but out of camera, they both look a little bit different. But when you apply the Dehancer to both the, uh, the footage from the Canon R6 and the C70, the results are great. So I absolutely love Dehancer. It's been a huge game changer for me and my workflow. It's improved the look and feel of my footage and I hope you get to use it too. I really encourage you to uh, download it and see how it improves your footage. I'd love to see what you create. And if you found this video useful, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop any comments in the section below and give it a thumbs up so that more people get to see and experience Dehancer. Until next time, I'll see ya.